Eric Mwad with Mwad.com. Let's take a look at the daily chart, the current daily chart for SOXL. And what we can see here is a huge drop from about the 170 price range to the lows under 140. It took a couple of days for that drop. Now I'll show you why right now it is doing its best to hold that level. Number one, we can obviously see that it came and touched the upward sloping 50 day moving average. So people are using this as a reason to bounce back in the name for a potential move higher. So we can see the 50 day moving average acting as some type of support. So that's one reason why it is doing its best to hold current levels with the idea that from here, the next meaningful direction is higher. Now I'll show you another view, which I personally prefer. So this is a one year daily, but to see it clearly, we might have to go to the two year daily chart. So the first line is a line connecting the lows from 2006 on the daily RSI and connecting other major lows along the way. But you can see right now, it came back to test this line here. And as of right now, we seem to be holding. So as long as this is holding, we can anticipate a bounce. And because the line is well defined, we can also use the same line in case it breaks. So if it goes on to break that line, that's going to be a sell signal whenever that happens. And we can draw another line that comes off the lows here of early 2016, February of 2016, and it is based on this RSI movement here. So once we clear this level here, that movement is what brought the market off the lows of early 2016. And of course, since then, we've gone on a major, major run, huge run up. So we take that information and draw what I call a uniformity line. And I'll provide links to this in the description of the video. So if I draw the line right there, it should be something like that. You can see that every time we bounce on this line, this instrument has recovered. Every time we bounce with uniform action, this was a good re-entry back into this name and also the general market recovered. Uniform activity here of those lows. So all of these were nice re-entries back into the market for a potential swing trade higher. And as of right now, you can see that line is also holding. So let me draw the two lines again. The first line is this line right here, which right now we are seeing is doing its best to hold. And let me also make sure to explain this because if we break below this line at some point, that's going to be a sell signal. And of course, the other line was the line connecting RSI lows. And if we ever break below this line, that's also going to be another sell signal. But as, as of right now, as long as we are holding this line, we can anticipate that the next swing trade of size or the next meaningful direction looks to be up for a swing trade as long as those two lines are holding. And this also is a reflection of what to expect from the NASDAQ, semiconductor sector, and probably from the S&P 500 and the general market altogether. Expect a bounce as long as those two lines are holding. This is the view for now. If we break the line, then that's going to be a major sell signal for the instrument and also for the general market. Eric Mwadith, mother.com as always, good luck, peace, and blessings. E-A-C-S. Mwah.